Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Justin, I'm from Adelaide, South Australia, and I'm just here to tell you a little bit about why I became a Muslim uh, when I used to be a member of a far right anti Islam movement. So, what made me join the far right groups in the first place was uh, falling for all of the fear tactics, all of the negative press around Islam, thinking that it wasn't compatible at all with our culture, and that uh, my Australian way of life, drinking beers all the time, going to the pub with my mates would be under attack and that would come to an end, uh, having more Muslims in this country. Uh, and I didn't know any Muslims at the time to, to get the other side of the story and actually get a true sense of who they are and what they practice as a religion. Uh, so I was only exposed to those those uh, anti-Islam groups and also the propaganda from mainstream media and in Hollywood movies especially um, having their vested interest in, in other areas of it. Uh, so the other people in the movement um, I believe as, as a whole they would, they would have felt the same way, uh, believing the same things. People would take a verse out of the Quran um, and post it out of context, uh, saying this is what all Muslims believe, this is what they think of uh, the disbelievers, uh, thinking that, yeah, thinking that they just completely didn't like and wouldn't put up with. Uh, so the thing that made me look into Islam was just seeing the complete collapse of Western society um, and realizing that the views that I thought that I was fighting for to protect um, Australian culture from Islam is actually the same views that I was, I was trying to fight for. So um, the conservative views uh, that we used to have in this country when it was a Christian uh, nation of the, the traditional family unit, uh, the, the, all the conservative values um, women sort of dressing moderately, men as well, and just uh, none of this degeneracy that we're seeing in, in this day and age now in Western society has completely collapsed. And also I've always had a belief in God. I believe what we're seeing today is the result of a complete godless society. It's just a, like a disgusting free-for-all where people think they can do whatever they want and there's no consequence for any of their actions. So. That's what made me look into Islam and um, once I started reading the Quran, um, that was it. I just, after a few weeks I decided I was ready to take my Shahada. So the reason I accepted it was, it just, it seemed like the most logical religion for me. I did briefly look at other religions um, when I realised I needed God in my life. And Islam to me was just the best way to practice and it made the most sense um, when you read the Quran obviously it takes uh, the Jewish faith, the Talmud and the Christianity uh, all, the, all the contradictions and, and things from those two uh, texts uh, and puts it all into how it should have been uh, from the get-go and also the fact that it's for everyone um, it just really drew me to that also, it's just a beautiful religion aesthetically and through all the practices as well. Um, so I also like the fact that uh, Muslims remain very steadfast and they stick to their beliefs and they will not water it down or sugarcoat it to suit what society is uh, pressuring people to believe, especially these days. So um, that's, that's why I accepted Islam. Uh, my family and friends have been overall uh, very supportive, which is which is great. Um, I've had a few friends. Obviously, not everyone's gonna gonna take to it. There is still that negative perception around, but it is getting better, I believe. Uh, so there are people that um, think, "Oh, you're not going to come to the pub with me anymore. You're not going to drink with me." Um, you get those types, plus also people that are still very much caught up with those negative thoughts of Islam thinking that um, yeah thinking that we, we want to marry like underage girls and uh, go blowing up um, big big events uh, in Western venues and stuff like that which is ridiculous so um, 
yeah, overall, my parents are very supportive and most of my friends as well. Um, I see it as a way of, of separating your true friends from from those that were sort of just associates with you. Um, life now is uh, so much better, I have to admit. Um, so much happier now. Depression, uh, all of that is just about gone. There's no more hangovers from, from drinking like I used to. Um, you get the mental clarity that comes from not doing any of those stuff, not taking any depressive substances which can lead to depressions and anxieties and that. Which is why I believe we see so much of that in Western society. Everyone's got mental issues, everyone has got some sort of problem. Um, I guess due to the pressures of Western society, everyone tries to fit in. Whereas in Islam it's just a brotherhood and obviously there's two billion brothers and sisters in Islam, so it's very welcoming, um, it's very positive and everyone looks out for each other, so I believe that way of life um, leads to a better better overall quality of life. Um, and just finally, any advice that I have for people that still dislike Islam would maybe be uh, for starters, maybe watch a couple of videos like this of myself and of others that have uh, reverted to Islam and sharing their stories. Um, it's getting a lot more popular now. A lot of people are fed up with the way uh, that we're living here in Australia and also all throughout the West. And they're looking for a more traditional um, way of living and also um, realizing that we're here to, to worship Allah having that in your life uh, it just fills that emptiness that most people are constantly striving to either um, to find through the wrong means or to try and forget that they have a problem by using other substances and constantly distracting themselves uh, through life so yeah either talk to a Muslim um, look up some of the beliefs that we have and the values that we have and it's all about trying to become a better person, so there's nothing wrong with that at all. So that's just a bit about my story, and I hope you enjoy it. Salaamu Alaikum.